Hey guys, Jonas Nifi here again, and we're back, guys. And this time we'll look at the review of the Transformers Power Prime's Voyager Class Grimlock. Yep, it is everybody's favorite of everybody's favorite about T Rex, Donna White, except for girls or my father also likes Grimlock. He was also a big fan. So this is Grimlock, and he is the leader of Donna White's. You can see it already out of the package with the Grinlock. So, before we look at the Grinlock, let's take a look at the, the package itself. Here's a nice little box, a nice little window, a nice little artwork or picture of him. On the other side, he has nothing there. So it's made by Hasbro. This one came out, I think it is 2017. I think it's 2016. The other side. I had never seen that one. I completely forgot. I did not show it because it is the combiner of the Dinobots. In the original one, Dremelik and the other Dinobots never actually got a combiner, but the Beast Winners does have one, which has got awful until now. This was the first time the Dinobot actually is combiner. That's my big theory it is. On the back, it has a little nice little picture of Robo Mode and T-Rex mode shows the other ones available. And he has a warning sign warning you don't want to show on Grillock. Skull Bio here, Rio says, How will le how will the legendary Dinobot leader while the power of the primes? And Skull picture image of Grillock, this robo mode, and a T-Rex. So that's about it. Anyways. Then he comes with a little card. Nice little art was the same. Look at the back. It says Onyx Grinlux. It really says channels will power to spark the Autobots. And it comes with nice little instructions. And let's see. It shows a little transport roll mode. And this one is really strange. It says some sort of combiners. If you collect all of them, you get combiners. I got all of them, but unfortunately, you can see it says sludge. It says coming in mid 2018. I think I was right. I was wrong because both snarl and sludge was made by Hasbro in 2018. I'm correct. I think both slug, Grinlock, and swoop was released 2017. Unfortunately, I don't have. I don't have a swoop, and we'll get to find somewhere. Let's go bio for them. It's going to show a little gimmick. It says, Combine Forms in the form of Volcanicus. It shows a little how to transform. shows a how to transform into Roman weapons. And speaking of weapons, let's take a look at the Grinlock itself. Here is the Grinlock in his T Rex mode. Looks a really nice one, very reminiscent. Also, his weapon is his cunt's wet. Trying to take his weapons up. He comes with looks like a foot. That was a foot for your one for his swoop or snarl or slug or sludge, no matter what you shoot. And goes a little has a plug. The other one was back hold. I guess that was supposed to even hold your weapons. His other surgery, he comes with looks like a energizer. You can also you can plug into his chest. That looks kind of ridiculous. It's also weird things. He opens out the skull peg and he opens up. It's got looks like a energy and kinetic fire this. Too nice a Dinobot mode. It's very nice, a very nice replica of the Ventus toys. I like his eyes are red. He looks a very nice little iconic uh, design one for the original ones. I like he has the uh, Autobots on the top of his. He actually stickers down here. It's got little stickers. The same. It's got a little crush of gold details. According to Pew, he says it looks like a Dino diapers, which is funny because he. That's what Pew said. Don't get me wrong on this. Nice little details. Nice little grave on the back. 
It's got all, it's got all holes and things. It's got all big old tails. It's got all bend and rotate. Make a it's nice little arms. It's got a nice little arms articulations, and his head goes upwards. It looks like he's flying, apparently. It's got a little mouth open. It's like, me, Grimlock, would love to see. Sorry if I have to make a Grimlock's voice. And, yep, he is voiced by Greg Verger, who is a member, who is a voice of some others. He also voiced uh, Ripto from Star Wars Ripto Rage and Reunite Trilogy. He also voiced, um, I guess someone from, yeah, all the multi-actors characters. He also did a voice, I think, I guess, Skyfire or Jetfire, whatever you want to call it. He also did a voice saying, nice little replicating. He also did reprise roles in Transformer Devastated. So anyway, Grinlock was created, he also did appear in Transformers Power of the TV shows. He did reprise roles, which I'm not going to spoil it. So anyway, the Transformer 2... Grinlock first day, let's pull his head, and you can see there is the head in his robot mode. Uh, first day, let's let's take his open his try and get this. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, here's, and that's my big problem. His joints is kind of a little stiff. I can't get. There we go. He opens doors, and this one's got some closing chests. Also, point out there's a little. It does have a waist room because. On the peg here, there's a little connective piece, and and that's pretty much it. And it looks like it starts falls over. So here is Grimlock in his robot mode. And oh yeah, forgot. Trying to bend it like he did in the show. Oh, this looks nice. A uh, very reminiscent of G1 counterparts. And he also from the Transformers Devastations, the video game that looks similarities. Also, I like there's a little head sculpt. His little head sculpt. This is definitely the best head I've ever seen. It's a iconic, classic Generation One's head. I like has a mouth plate. Kind of like has eyes, a visor. It has a red visors. Now, in the original enemy series, has a blue visors, which don't be in line. And so, I like he has a chance of the golden one. I like he has Autobots logo. It says connected. Nice little shoulder. Hands. Little red crushes details. I like he has an added stickers. Originally, this was a comes with decal sticker, but they actually already put on this more detail on it. Nice little back. Got a half chunk. Has a skirt team. Nice little details. One of the and sadly he does not come with a gun or the sword, which is really the kind of disappointment. He does have a little weapon as he hold it to there to looks like this. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. I don't know why they choose the weapon. I kind of wish it come with the guns of Blaster. I really prefer it. This one's. For articulation for Grimlock, he has a head swivel. It goes up and down that much. His arms goes up and down. Goes in and out that much because it's rashy joints. He has a biceless swivel for 60 degrees. Then at the elbow. And his double elbow was nice. And unfortunately, there's no wrist articulation. That's kind of very unfortunately. He does have swivel waist movement because of his ratchet joints. 
and his leg is forward to the back, goes in and out that much because of ratchet joints. He has a he has a he has a thigh swivel, then the knee because of really ratchet joints. And noise. And that's it, there's no angle pitch. So that's pretty much it, two questions. Now for size comparison, let's look at compared to the other Dynamax for the members. And here is the next to the rest of the Dynamax members. So here we have to complete the member's Dinobot, but there is only one Dinobot missing. One of the Dinobots missing is Swoop. We have, we forgot the Swoop. We forgot Swoop. Maybe we'll try and find the Swoop to the rest of it. We'll complete the final members. There's also another one called, I think it's saying Spike. The little Raptor Dinobots with the, the Legend class one, but I don't care though who he is he. I never heard of it. Because I'll buy it and just skip it. So, anyway, speaking of the combiners, with, yeah. So, I guess that's pretty interesting, does not it? So, yeah, there's one. Review of the Transformers Warship Class Grimlock. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and please don't forget don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell, hit the bell button of link in the descriptions for more reviews. So thanks for watching and goodbye.